Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted about the optional bug fix updates that had rolled out for the 22H2 versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And now version 21H2 of Windows 11 has also received uh, more or less the same bug fix update um, that rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 28th of June. Now, um, if you are still using the original release um, of uh, Windows 11, uh, if you do decide to install the update, then the OS build will be bumped up to 22,000.2124. And if you don't install the update now, uh, most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over, as many of you will know by now, into the Patch Tuesday update rolling out next month um, on the second Tuesday, the 11th of July, 2023. Now, um, the update is very similar to the bug fix update that rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 because at the heart and core, uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 are very similar. So that's no surprise. So if you want to stick around, um, just to go through this, if you are still running Windows 11 version 21H2. Now, the key highlight, according to Microsoft, is that the update addresses an issue that affects the on-screen keyboard. The issue stops it from opening after you lock the machine. And that also was a key highlight for Windows 10 and Windows 11 22H2. And this is a non-secured update, but does include quality improvements. And two of those quality improvements are what Microsoft are calling new features in the release notes. Now, I call these, and Microsoft calls these new features, but they are actually under the hood um, improvements, so to speak. And one of the two new features that have rolled out for version 21H2 of Windows 11 is mainly um, aimed at enterprises and corporations. And then the other one uh, would be a little bit more of interest to your home user. So the first is the update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So that's the so-called new feature and improvement that's rolling out for corporations and enterprises. And then the update also improves several simplified Chinese fonts and the Microsoft Pinion Input Method Editor. So um, if you do find yourself uh, in that region and those regions, then obviously that second improvement will be of benefit to you if you are a home user. Now, um, the update also addresses issues with Narrator. There are two fixes that have rolled out for Narrator. And if we just head over to the Task Scheduler, which is a legacy maintenance feature that comes bundled in both Windows 10 and Windows 11, the same um, improvement and fix rolled out for uh, all three versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. The update addresses an issue that affects a scheduled monthly task. Apparently, it didn't run on time if the next occurrence happened when daylight savings time occurs. So that's a daylight savings fix with the task scheduler. And the update affects the desktop Windows manager. Apparently, it improves its reliability. So that's a bit of a, a stability and a performance fix. And the update addresses an issue that affects the spooler service. Uh, apparently, it stopped working. And this issue has been around for quite some time. And once again, Microsoft is trying to fix it with this update where the issue occurred when you print using a certain workspace. And there's also a registry uh, fix rolling out for the um, H key current user, user shell folders. And then um, the file explorer has also received quite an important fix. Um, it addresses an issue that affects File Explorer. It might stop responding indefinitely. So this is a bit of a um, stability and performance fix for the File Explorer. Apparently, the issue occurred after you tried to view the effective access permissions for files in File Explorer. And then over and above that, uh, guys, we also get an update to the Windows 11 servicing stack. And that would have rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 22H2 as well. And basically what the uh, servicing stack does is it is the component um, that is there to install Windows updates and make sure in most cases that, that up, the update process runs smoothly on your machine. So that's it. That's KB5027292. That's the latest optional bug fix update rolling out for Windows 11 21H2, which was made available on the 28th of June 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.